Hello there, my name is Michael, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you a quick tip to getting rid of all vocal plosives with Isotopes RX for musicians. So without further ado, let's get started. Plosives are low frequency disturbances caused by someone saying a P or a B sound. They can cause distortion and be problematic in a mix. We could simply EQ out all the low end, but we run the risk of our vocal sounding too thin. Let me show you how easy it is to remove plosives with RX Pro. So we're inside our session and we're gonna take a listen to all the plosives that this background vocalist has in this take. Popping pills and posting pics. If we look at the waveform, we can see the plosives at the beginning of each one of these words, but let's open these up in RX Pro to see where these sit on the frequency spectrum. Now that I have the vocal open up in RX, let's take a listen. Popping pills. And post and picks. Underneath here, we can see all the plosives that occupy the low frequency range. So all we have to do is make our selection over the area that we want to repair, open up the deep plosive module. Inside the module, we have a few different settings that we can adjust, including the sensitivity, strength, and the frequency limit that we want to focus on. We're going to keep these settings the same and then hit render to compare the difference. Popping pills and posting pics. So here's before. Popping pills and posting pics. And after. Popping pills and posting pics. Once we removed all the plosives, we can save the file and open it back in our session and compare how it sounds. Now we can see that the plosives have been removed. Popping pills and posting pics. And we'll no longer have to EQ these out. Popping pills and posting that's it for this video. I hope you can see the simplicity and the tremendous benefit that removing plosives can have on your mix. Thanks again for watching and take care.